how to configure the Sigma Check to your personal preferences. If we go into the Sigma Check menu and then down to the Configure sub-menu, you can see various options, brightness, colour, units, precision, power save, time of date and language. Most of these are self-explanatory as I shall go through and give a brief description of each one. So, configuring the brightness, if we do tick to enter the brightness menu, very simply you can see the current value is 50%. Using left will increase, sorry, left or up will increase the brightness, so make that right and up. Left or down will decrease the brightness by 10%. Hopefully that is visible on the video. To accept the new value, push tick. If you go into brightness, change the brightness but do not wish to keep the current setting, then pressing back will revert to the previous value. How to configure the colour scheme of the Sigma Check? Under the configure menu, we have the menu item colour. Selecting colour, you can see various options. The colour can be changed of the text <coughs> or the background. Beneath, sorry, or the colour of a value and the colour of an alarm state. The text, which is quite simple, changing the text colour, the majority of the screen text will change. So if we pick a different colour scheme, and pick blue, again, so now we can change the background, which currently is a, is a cream colour. So if we pick a grey, we can now change the text colour to possibly a white. Value is the, is the colour scheme normally used for your, your everyday readings, either conductivity or your lift off. So let's put that a bit brighter. Let's have that as a let's pick a green. There we go. And the final colour that can be changed is the alarm state. So this would be the colour used for the text if there was an alarm situation, and also for the alarm LEDs across the bottom of the screen. So we'll pick a awful pink colour. So to accept the new colours, we can just simply press the tick button. Now just for a demonstration of the new colour scheme, we enter the readings, and let's display conductivity. As you see we have green values being the colour we selected. And a quick and easy identification of the alarm colour is at the bottom of the screen, the temperature is flashing, which simply indicates we usually recalibrate the instrument. And that is colour. How to configure the units? If you enter the configure menu and go down to units, units of conductivity, temperature and length can all be configured. All are quite standard. We have percentage IAX and mega siemens per metre for conductivity, temperature, degrees centigrade, degrees Fahrenheit. For length, millimetres, thou, representing thousandths of an inch, and mil, which is again thousandths of an inch. Any value that is changed, but is not required to be used, simply pressing the back button will revert the instrument to its previous values. We go back into units. So to show how the instrument changes, we'll change the conductivity from percentage IAX to megasiemens per meter and then tick to confirm. Now back to the main reading screen. You can now see the conductivity is displayed in megasiemens per meter instead of the previous percentage IAX. Now these units are used throughout the instrument. So going into another menu item that you may or may not have already seen, for example the metal sorting now displays all the ranges in megasiemens per meter 
whereas before that was in percentage IAX. The same can be said when changing temperature and lift off values. So that explains units. How to configure the precision displayed by the Sigma check. If you go into the Sigma check, excuse me, menu, down to configure, and then down to precision and select. It's a way of selecting the number of decimal places that the instrument displays on the screen. Pressing left and right changes the value. For conductivity, we have an auto. Where the lower the conductivity, the more decimal points we display, since the, accurate, the instrument is more accurate measuring conductivities at low values. If the user requires a specific number of decimal places, then pressing the left and the right will change the number of decimal points. As you can see, you can go from three decimal places, pushing left decreases to two, to one, or to zero. And the same for temperature. You can have zero decimal points, one, in fact, just zero or one. Oops, excuse me. And length, zero, one, or two decimal points. So just to demonstrate this, we have the temperature set to none, conductivity to none, and the length to two. If I tick to accept, now I go to the reading screen. Let's have lift off displayed on the bottom. So you can see we have no decimal points displayed on the conductivity and two decimal points displayed for the lift off. The temperature at the bottom of the screen is now also with zero decimal points. That explains the precision menu item. How to change the power saving values of the Sigma check. If we enter the Sigma check menu, oops, again, press the right button, down to configure and down to power save and select. We have two values that we can set. We have an auto power off timer and an auto screen dim timer. These values are in minutes. The auto power off value, if the instrument isn't touched and no buttons pressed for what is currently displayed as 20 minutes, the instrument will turn itself off. With the auto screen dim, if the instrument or a key isn't pressed for 10 minutes, then the screen will dim itself, uh, increasing the battery life. Each of these left will decrease by five minutes down to an off, where the instrument will not turn itself off all the way up to one hour. So we can change either. And that shows how to change the power save settings. So changing the time and date on the Sigma check. If we first go into the reading screen and scroll through the available displays, you can see there's a time and date. Currently incorrectly set to the 1st of January 2000 at seven minutes past four. So to change that value, we return to the home screen, across, down to the configure submenu, and down to time and date. Here you can see the 1st of January 2000 again. So the first is highlighted. So simply using up or down to today's date of November. 2012 and the time is 2.36 with that set tick to accept now the time and date is set to confirm this we'll go back to the reading screen there we can see the time and date 27th of November 2012 at 2.36. Finally, configuring the language of the Sigma check. The Sigma check can be displayed in various languages. Now if we expand the Sigma check menu, down to configure, and then finally down to language, as you can see, currently highlighted is English. Now we can use left and right 
to display all of the available languages into which the Sigma check has been translated, and of course back to English. So for an example, let's pick Spanish. Now you can see all the menu items now appear in Spanish. Come back up, come back up again. Again, all text in the Sigma check is now in Spanish. So I shall now repeat that procedure to simply set the language back to English. And there we have configuring the basic operation of the Sigma check.